Ten. Great Five. response from Valdon. Good start from him. Eight. Eight. Is that eight? Is it an eight or is it a nine? I think it's probably an eight. That'll be my call. Nine. Uh, all immaterial battle the demons and get himself back into this one. Nine. That was better, he Nine. knew it. The first one was a little... We go into the third set and Jean-Charles Valdon sees himself 4-0 down. Don't write him off just yet though. Nine. I'll tell you what, if you're shooting badly and you get a silver medal in Tokyo, he's not going to be that bothered, I don't think. Better. Did you see the flow of that one? The yellow in this match. He has been quite phenomenal. Pressure here. Valdon needs a good arrow. Nine. To the nines. Uh, actually, not. Got all the flags around you. Lots of indicators there, but big hedge to their right down the side, and sometimes the wind can bounce off that and do something else. So it's difficult to read it. Valdon on for a potential 26 if he can just adjust his sight and get this final arrow into the 10. Gets it into the 9, over adjusted if any. So, Jean-Charles Valadon, a 10, will take the set points. He needs a 9 to share them. Anything less, and we'll be all square. Brilliant. Already gone through and booked France's quota spot. Each country can only have one quota spot from this tournament. And I love the reflection of the glasses. You can see right down the arm of the archer towards the target as well. Gives you a real idea of the alignment they've got. Hey. Set so far. The opportunity here for Jean-Charles Valdemont to put himself within one set point of making it through to the semi-finals. That's Well done now. Look at his characteristic draw. Hello into his chin, he's always done that. Must be off put and have that camera right in your face now. He can I'm sure he can see it, but oh and into the eight. A couple of points and that's put you right back in the match and clearly and perhaps more importantly, it showed that you could put Valdon under pressure. Another eight from him. It's in this set. Draw level in the set points and get the one point he needs to go through to the semis. Oh, you saw.
Recurve men's gold medal match starts with John Charles Valadon. Uh, to eventually lose to Steve Weiler, my countryman. Um, he both London and Tokyo and, and got silver for the one in Tokyo and bronze in the one in uh, in. Here we go. I mean, here he's just standing, waiting for the clicker to go, and then arguably the thing that Dan Olaru is doing is easier uh, from a mental standpoint because you're. Yeah, he'll probably have a couple tricks up his sleeve uh, whenever he needs to. Yeah. The high and high archery World Cup stage. Very close. Yeah, that was a. Get the set. He needs a nine here. Oh, you are. In contrast, smiling and laughing along with the crowd as he was introduced. But it's very. Vardon cannot reach 29 unless they add a 12 ring. Set number two, Valadon trailing by two sets. Group from Vila, but he didn't look too happy with that. No, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Uh, so uh, uh, a marked up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to business, indeed. Uh, a marked up nine for Steve Viler, and he goes three one up in this gold medal match. Oui. Oui. Ten. Hits it then. And then shoots a second arrow low and then adjusts his side. The fifth and final set, Valadon trailing by five points to three, has to win this one outright. But uh, Vila not able to capitalise. Huge couple of arrows coming now. Nine. Not Valadon. If he puts it in the ten, the gold is his. Oh, what a shot! from J.C. Turn! Turn as well from Valadon. Number eight, and it was just a good surprise to see the 10. So, Ellison with 28. So Valadon knows a 10 will take the first set. Ten. And it is a 10. So, it feels like exactly to stand in that spot. Yes, yes. Ten. Ten, Valadon. 
second set. So he's 4 0 up now. And Bernardo, you, uh, you were calling in for Ellison in this match. 4 10 so far for Valadon. Can he add another? 9. A 9 for him. So he bought board there on your screens. It means that the arrow very close to the line and could be upgraded. Nine. And Valadon hits a nine, so he gets 26, so it won't matter too much whether balance. I mean, his body balance uh, in this set. Maybe he's forcing he his shots, you know, just trying to make this and what happened. Nine. Nine as well for the Frenchman. Forearm there, showing how proud he was to take away the team silver from London that year. Valadon, successful. As an individual archer in Rio last year. Happened. He's got five nines in the competition so far. Another one will do it, and it is a ten for Jean Charles. Thank <laughs> you. 